Sloan Depot Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Miami Marlins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And today's starting pitcher, Pablo Lopez. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. And a pinch. And that one is lifted in the air. Sanchez turns and moving to his left. Puts the squeeze on it. One up, one down. Batting second. And let's take a look at the lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent. And... Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And gone. Taylor Ward blasts one out. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter, getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. A solo shot, his first homer of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 2-0. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Base is empty one away, so now the Angel cleanup hitter, Jared Walsh. This one smashed down the right field line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. This one lifted in the air. Left field. Wendell makes the catch. And that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's two zip. Bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Shohei Otani. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it can take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And now the one Swing and a miss. Swing and a little roller right side. They put the tag on him, and that's out number two. As we take a look at Don Mattingly's lineup for the Marlins. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jesus Aguilar. 
Tops on the team in batting average, Boop. Guy who's showing off some excellent bat-to-ball ability when he digs it at the plate. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on. But it's also incredible to have a guy like that in the lineup because he's a run producer who can drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. <laughs> Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Next pitch is popped up. And that will end the inning. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. Angels 2 and the Marlins nothing. Top of the second, Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Leading off for the Angels, the left fielder, Brandon. The right-hander back to work. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Sanchez settles underneath it, and there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. And next for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. Into center, Sanchez drifts towards it, two away. in Kurt Suzuki he's a catcher by trade but the DH here in this one center field Sanchez moving under this one makes the play and it's out number three Angels held in check as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead Sayel Garcia up to the plate. Leading off for the Marlins. And a pitch. The right fielder. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And it's nothing at two. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone. But usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because... You got to make guys earn it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. And now for the Marlins. Jesus Sanchez. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Chris, the players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitters got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Oh, and two down. Got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Oh, well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. Why to kick the pitch? Stays alive. Here's the 0 2. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Oh, he brought it back. Enough to do it for the Marlins. They trail things here 2 0. All set for the start of the inning. And now, Luis Rangifo. Lopez back to work. Out towards left center. And makes the grab. And there's one down. The center field number 27. Mike Trout. And now batting Mike Trout. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Oh, 
Now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. All muscle to center field. His first homer of the year. It's 3-0. Well, he went up there 0-0 looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Stepping in, Taylor Ward. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Sanchez makes the grab. The catcher, number 33, Max Stassi. Here's the catcher, Max Stassi. This one in the air center field. Sanchez settles under this one and puts the squeeze on that. And that ends the inning. But the Angels add to the lead on this solo blast. It's now 3-0. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's the Marlins DH, Ryan Anderson. Swing and a miss. Going one. Anderson. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. And here it comes. That one misses, and that's ball one. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Joey Wendell. This to third. Sends it to Walsh. Two up, two down. Batting up. The second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he'll one. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. to the pitch and a foul ball he stays alive out to short Velasquez collects that's the inning Miami down in order still down 3-0 Here in Miami, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jared Walsh. And the right hater back to work. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Jared Walsh blasts one out and they add to their lead. It's 4-0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Jonathan VR up to hit. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Snags it on the run, and there's one down. Now that left Brandon. Here's a speed threat, Brandon Marsh. On the ground, right side, whips it to first. Now two away. The batter, number four, shortstop, Andrew Velasquez. So in now for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. And first offering is fouled off. 
the pitch. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Cooper. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4-0 ball game. Welcome back. Bottom four. John Birdie at the plate. Pitch. And a swing and a miss. Something I'm noticing in this one is that these guys are aggressive early in the count. It makes you wonder if that was talked about in the hitters meeting before this game started. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Two. And down on strikes. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same now page right now. Catcher. Jacob Stallings now. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. The Marlins hitless so far in the game. Right through there, got him. Two gone. No, well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. The next pitch misses, and it's one and one. Just off the inside edge. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Base hit, and that keeps the inning going. Nice line drive to pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Garcia swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Cooper leads off first with two down to the inning. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. Marlins lead one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. We go to the top of the fifth. Kurt Suzuki to step in. And he deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Puts a bunt down. Cooper. And he handles it himself for the out. The third base, number two. Luis Rengifo. And now Luis Rengifo. Over one so far. And he hits a ground ball right side. Aguilar over to first in time. Fine play in the hole for the out. It's important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Trout. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there on its way and out of here. He's done it again. And they add a run. It's five zip. You're working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Lifted in the air, right field. He makes the grab, and that's the inning. Angels do get one, however, on the Mike Trout home run.
And the lead is now 5 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. And a big swing and a miss. And takes low for ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now it's one and two. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-2. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And up next for Miami, Ryan Anderson. The batter, number 50, designated hitter. Swings Ryan. through that one. Oh, and one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his well, plays made there, and that retires the side. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. It's five, nothing. Tommy Nance will take over here. He's been so good against lefties. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. The pitch. Line drive. Wendell makes the grab. One pitch and one out. The and now it's the Angels cleanup batter. Jared Walsh. Oh. Rip to right center. And that one will leave the park. Out of here. That was a moonshot. His second home run of the game. It's six nothing. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And here is Jonathan VR in the air to left center, diving. It gets down. Could be extra bases. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Now Gotta man. love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Brandon March, the next to hit for the Angels. Hard ground ball, base knock. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner at first with two away. Next to hit, Andrew Velasquez. Gets the bunt down the right side. Cooper to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Angels get one with a solo homer. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Joey Wendell. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Since it's a Walsh, one away, bottom of the sixth. Now it's the second baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Now 
Outs to the right. Walsh gloves it, and he takes it himself for the out. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow grounder to get the out. And stepping in is the speedy John Birdie. In there for strike one. And the righty deals. Got him. Marlins set down in order. And the Marlins down quietly. They still find themselves down. Six in. Top of inning number seven. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. Here comes a pitch. In the air, out towards left center. Oh, he dropped it. The throw in to second, and he's safe. Here's Mike Trout. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. This to center field. Sanchez moving under it. Makes the catch. One away. Taylor Ward. The next to hit for the fourth time tonight. In the air, right side. Rengifo around third. He will score. It's seven to nothing. The throw to third, and he's out trying for three. The triple is arguably the most exciting play in baseball, and a guy's worked so hard to get around first, to get around second, to get thrown out at third. Man, you just feel bad for him. On top of that, he was already in scoring position, so you think about how it kind of hurts the team as well. Now it's going to be Max Stassi. Ripped to short. Zips it across. That ends the frame. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Angels seven and the Marlins nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Jacob Stallings. The catcher. Inside corner for a strike. It's old one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Marsh sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now and now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. Garrett Cooper. First offering and it just misses. Righty to the plate. That's a strike, and that's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one misses. Two and two. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Abasail Garcia. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Nothing doing for the Marlins. Not going their way. It's 7-0. We 
go to the eighth. And here's the first baseman, Jared Walsh. The first baseman, Jared Walsh. And a pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sanchez on his way over. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one away. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. One down. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Marsh. Swing, and that ball smashed out of line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. So two down now, and here is Andrew Velasquez, one for three. And that bunted towards third, and he barehands it, and he beats it. He's safe. New pitcher now, Dylan Floro. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. So they're at the corners now. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Kurt Suzuki. A bunt and it's popped up. And that is that. Angels strand a couple, but they're still in control. It's 7-0. On to the bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Otani back to work. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Pretty amazing, his first pitch strike percentage, over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. Sends it to Walsh, and that's one away, and the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Next pitch downstairs, ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That clips a corner. And he grounds one to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. The Let's the defense 15. work behind him with another ground ball. Hitter. Good execution. Ryan. And the batter now, Ryan Anderson. Anderson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. And there's a foul ball. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. That is the inning. Miami down in order. They continue to trail 7-0. Back here in Miami, we go to the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Luis Rangifo. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck. Right field, that's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that thing carry. Now, here is Mike Trout. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck, and out of here. That's his third home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with this swing, and he's just not missing right now. Three-homer game, and it's so special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. Zach Pop gets the call from the pen. 
He's into the game with the bases empty. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward. He's already homered in this game. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. Max Stassi, the next to hit for the Angels. He's already homered here in this one. Trying to move him over here. Birdie fires over to first. Now one gone in the ninth. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jared Walsh. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Out of here. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jonathan VR. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Jonathan VR. Bunting, and he pops it up. Fires the first on the run. Not in time, he legs it out. Brandon Marsh getting ready to hit. And a sack bunt here. Bare hand scoop to first. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. This couldn't have played out any better on offense. They were trying to trade it out to move the runner into scoring position, but instead, they just couldn't make the play on defense. You really need to get it out there. And here is Andrew Velasquez. Trying to move the runners over. Goes to second. Safe there. And he'll be safe at first. Bases loaded with one away. Kurt Suzuki, the next to hit for the Angels. That one ripped. The relay to the plate. He beats it safe. And they extend their lead. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and... He's rewarded with the double. Number 47 comes on now. On for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. One out, runner at second. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Popped in the air. Left field. Wendell brings it in. That's out number two. Now that is. Now it's the Angels' leadoff man, Mike Trout. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. And that one is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. His fourth home run of the game. And they add a pair. It's 16 to 0. So up next, Taylor Ward. The right field, number three. Taylor Ward. Puts one down in front of the plate. On to first. And that's the third out. 8 9 1 2 up in the bottom of inning number nine. Angels are out front 16 to nothing. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Now the left fielder, Otani, back to work. And that's in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Tapped softly on the ground. Tosses to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. The batter number 99. Second baseman, That one's in there, 0 and 1. Next pitch is popped up. Rangifo should have this one. 
makes the grab and there's two gone. Back to the top of the Miami order. John Birdie, the next up for the Marlins. And that's in there for strike one. Slowly on the ground to short. Throw to first in time, and this one is over. And the Angels take this one in a blowout. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long 